Watch what happens when we go to change gear. Yep. That. <laughs> Hot Wheels. We all love them. We've all had them as a child. I know I certainly have had my fair share of them, and uh, you probably watching this video have had your fair share of Hot Wheels cars too. But what about if we combined Forza Horizon 4 and Hot Wheels themselves? Well, in today's video, we have done just that. Not with this rip rod right here, but with this. The 2011 Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. It has 402 horsepower to talk, around... 398 foot-pounds of torque and 2,205 pounds. Not too bad, and has a displacement of 5.7. So, let's go and jump into this thing and go and drive its stock, and then we'll go and see what else it can do. So, here is our bone shaker. First of all, like usual, I shall let you go ahead and have a listen to this thing. Not too bad, and look at that engine, that is, it's quite an engine. Now, the thing that I find interesting is, if we have a look at the inside, well, what happens when we go to change gear? Yep. That. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic, I believe, I don't know what this little thing is down here to our right, just there, but I guess we'll go and find out what it is eventually. So, let's go ahead, put this into the festival, and go and see what it can do. So here we are with the upgrades again, and now if we go into conversion, we'll see we have the option for a engine swap all the way up to a 7.2 litre V8. Not just any old V8, this is a racing V8. So we'll go ahead and probably see what that can do later on this video. And for drivetrains, we can turn it from rear wheel drive to all wheel, which is going to be pretty interesting. Now, this is the point where I'd say we'll go over to the paint shop, but before we do that, I've got a couple things that I want to show you on this car. For example, at the front, this is our front Forza Aero, and for the back, well, um, this is what we're working with. That, that looks cool. Okay, <laughs> like usual, now I'm going to go ahead, sorry, tune onto this thing, go and see what we can do with the paints. But before we do that, just take a note of this rear uh, tyre size very quickly. 375 stock, and we can go up to um, 455s at the back and at the front um we can go up to a 245s but 455 at the back oh wow right let's go over to the paint shop and go and see what we can do with this thing okay so here we are at the paint area now as you can see this is our stock paint however if we go into a paint body and then just uh, line ourselves up a little bit and go over by one we have a secondary paint job just here, which is a lot like the original Bone Shaker when it was released in the little Hot Wheels form. Now we've got the 50th anniversary here, and both this one too, and I love both of these designs, they both look fantastic. However, I've also made a little design of my own, and I think we're going to go and put that on the car about now. There we go. Not too bad at all. So uh, yeah, we're going to be sticking with this design for today's video, but uh, I do like the two ones that it gives you to choose from at the base, which is this one and that one. Of course, it's got our vinyls over it, so uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go and put a tune on this thing and go and see how it drives. Okay, so here we are now over at the drag strip. Now I've got our first tune here, which is our stock engine, so we'll go and see if we can brake boost this thing. We kind of can. Just over the line slightly, but let's go and see what this thing can do. Not too bad on the launch, but it is very, very slow in comparison to cars we've had before, especially at last week's van. With just 148 to the camera, yeah, this thing is really not good with its stock engine. So uh, let's go and throw in that V8 and hope that that makes a difference. Right, so here is our V8 drag tune. Let's go ahead, brake boost like usual if we can. Good enough. And let's go and see what this thing can do. It's got 148 beats with camera. It's got some very wide tyres, so I'm thinking it should be completely fine. And 
190. We are running well over 1,100 horsepower in this thing, so uh, 190 isn't too bad, but I'm sure with some tuning it can be made to get even quicker. So what we're going to do next is, like usual, go ahead and put a couple of road tunes onto this thing and go take it up to the motorway to try and find out just what this thing's top speed really is. So, let's go. But before we do any of that, we of course have the Forza Thon shop for the week. We have got the 1953 Maserati, very long name, and of course we have the 2010 Aston Martin 177. So there are the two cars of the week, both at 150 Forza Thon points each. We also have some blue biker trousers here, and a pink top hat, should you ever want one. If anything, put it on the roofy car, I don't mind. Right, let's go and take this thing out to the road, and go and see what it can do. Okay, so here we are now over at the roundabout, so we'll just go and make our way through here, because let's be honest, has anybody ever used roundabouts in this game? Right, let's go and head on to the motorway and go and figure out what our top speed is. Now, I did try a run of this earlier, but I uh, kind of found a couple of cars along the way, so it didn't really go very much to plan. So, like usual, we'll go up to this next tunnel, and I shall let you have a listen to how this thing sounds with the stock engine fully upgraded. What I would do, if there wasn't so many cars in the way. There we go, we just about managed to scrape past them this time. So we'll go up to, uh, well, up to whatever our top speed is. We did hit 198, however I don't think on the stock engine this thing is going to hit 200 sadly. Well, not with its current tuning anyway. So let's go ahead and throw the V8 back into this thing, and we'll go and see what top speed that can hit instead. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty quick. Let's just put it that way. So here we are now with the V8s back in our Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. So once again, across the roundabout, and we'll make it onto the motorway, hopefully, and then go and see how, really, just how speedy this thing is. We're already hitting 200. We've, we've beaten the speed already. Let's get it off of the wall, thank you very much. Right, like usual, into the tunnel, I'll let you go ahead and have a listen to how this thing sounds with its nice V8. Very nice indeed. So let's go and make our way back down to here. Hopefully we don't hit anything. We've got 255, which is decent. And I think that's probably all that we're going to be able to hit. Because we're now just off the edge of the motorway apparently. Cool. Great. Anyway. That is 100... Oh, 100? No. That is 255. Not too bad at all with this thing. Honestly, I really like how this looks. Now, I'm sure by the time that this video has gone up, this paint will probably be up on the storefront, so uh, all the uh, names and share codes to it will probably be in the description of this video. So, let's go and take this thing over to the festival for the last pass. Everyone's favourite, will it drift? Honestly, I'm not quite too sure. So, here we are now over at the festival with the stock engine tune. Let's go and see, can you drift? The bone shaker with its original stock engine. I'm falling over my words, but uh, well, that's just become a normal thing by now. Right, let's see. Honestly, 25,000, not too good because this thing just wants to keep straightening out. Mostly, probably because of the uh, huge tires on the back of this thing. I'm not getting 455, so kind of crazy. Right, can we at least beat 25,000? Uh, hardly. Right, I'm going to go throw the V8 to tune onto this thing, and we'll go and see how well that'll do instead. So, here we are with our fantastic V8. So, let's go ahead and chuck it into here. Into second, that might have been a bit too much chucking, but... Come on. 36,000. Just. That... Oh, that's really, really not good. Right, we'll go and give this one more run with this setup, and then I'm going to try something different for this car. So, let's go and chuck this thing into here again. Come on! Nearly! No! Ah, I think he's wanted to straighten out. There we... There we don't go. That was 31,000. So, the V8 is probably good for making this thing drift just, but I've got one more setup that I want to try with this thing. So here is the last tune that I want to try, which is this car, completely bone stock. Get it? Bone stock, bone shaker. Who knows? Anyway, let's go and see what this thing can do. Oh, it's really not too good. That was a horrible idea. Ow. 
29,000. Right, I never really explained how you get this car. You get this via series 38, 80% completion, like the entire series, or if you don't want to do all that, you can just get it off of the Horizon backstage. Right, let's see. One more attempt. Can this car do it? Can it do this thing completely stock? Got 36,000 to beat. No! Oh, no. Yep, this car's not a drifter. Not in any way, shape, or form. I'd honestly say this one's more a show car, just something to have in your garage. You can just pull it out of your garage at any point and go, Hey, look at this thing, I have this. But uh, apart from that, yeah, it's not exactly the best. Honestly, pretty sad, considering how nice Hot Wheels cars themselves actually are. Still, it is, like I say, a show car, something fantastic to have and just drive about for fun. But yeah, this is not a serious competitive car unless you really, really know what you're doing. Of which I... I don't. <laughs> That's all be honest, I don't. So, yeah, that's this for the Bone Shaker, that is this video, so I really hope you've enjoyed. Now, if you're enjoying this video, let me know with a like, because it lets me know you like it, and you want to see more stuff like this on the channel in future, where I just go over cars that I find it interesting in this game and make videos on them a bit like this one. Because, don't worry, I've already got a few, I've already got a few more like, you know what, that's how English works, I'm sure. But I have a couple of other cars lined up that I think could be pretty good. So, yeah, if you're new here, feel free to go ahead and press subscribe, turn on notifications bell to all, so you never miss an upload. I try and upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday, so that is two new videos for you to enjoy twice a week, which is honestly pretty good. So, with that said, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. I love to read your comments, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. And, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the uh, stuff like this. And if you've made it through to this point in the video, let me know what your favourite Hot Wheels car is. I have quite a few. If you want to me if you want me to make a video going over those, I will as well. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. A goodbye. Okay, so this thing doesn't drift, but it kinda does burnouts. Donuts? I don't really know.